everybody, I am meteorologist Amy Metz and there's a very dangerous situation out there right now. So we're looking at the radar imagery and in red there are tornado warnings now. The yellow are severe thunderstorms. And very soon here besides these tornado warnings, I believe Louisiana will be getting some tornado warnings. So I'll zoom in a little bit so you can get an idea of where these are now and then do a little bit of information sharing on how you can be prepared and um, be ready for these. I hope everybody's already gotten to that point and has a safe place to be. But at this point, we have um, a tornado moving across Mississippi, Laurel in Mississippi, toward Meridian. We'll move probably just south of Meridian. And then there's another one um, that is just next to that that'll scrape by Waynesboro. And then we have Butler here, or Butler, I'm not sure. Let me know if you if you know, that has actually double warning. So we could be seeing multiple vortexes here, or what are called twin tornadoes sometimes. And then another one going toward Greensboro in Utah here. So these are, let's see if it says how fast they're moving for us. Um, does not. But all of this area is under watch. It says it includes the 22 counties, and that's everything outlined in red. So there's another one north of Montgomery as well. And that concludes the tornado warnings for right now. Some of these could just be radar indicated, but there's definitely going to be an outbreak today. So we're going to be wanting to track these storms. If you're anywhere near here, keep an eye on these areas where it's red, where you see any kind of um, V notching forming or hooks on the radar are places that um, are especially dangerous to watch out for with the possibility of forming a tornado. So luckily the more north we get the cooler it gets and the less likely there are for tornadoes but it does not outrule a tornado from forming along here especially you can see the watch has been posted by National Weather Service as well. So looking at these on radar, I can see these places with red and the brighter, darker reds, um, they're more likely to cause tornadoes, meaning that this batch of storms moving across Louisiana quite soon here is also very, very likely to have some tornadoes in there. And that would be going along the southeastern border of Arkansas into Mississippi and Tennessee as well as the day progresses. Overnight, I would say that there's even more of a risk factor right around here. Um, so Alabama and Georgia. And then into tomorrow, that risk continues toward the Carolinas and the East Coast. So make sure everybody's prepared. And on preparing, I want to show off this house again. I was just so um, amazed to see that somebody went ahead and did this. I always wished homes would be built better. Here we have... A home in Mississippi that was ripped away in a tornado last year, but because there was concrete walls and rebar inside here, the family was able to get inside and stay safe. So staying alert is a major, um, really, really important here. I can't stress that enough, really. There is a page. This is not the one. I must have closed it already, but just look up how to stay alert if you don't already know. How to get weather updates. You can do this on your phone in your settings. You can have um, maybe the TV on and a lot of meteorologists will get on and say when there's a tornado warning or that weather underground map. This is called Wonderground here that I use. And um, what you do is you can get to the right side of the screen and scroll down. And I like to click severe and get tornado warnings. And there's so many options. You can see satellite so you know where um, other clouds are. And there's just a ton of information available on here. So make sure, however you do it, that you are ready in case one of these storms comes towards you. And you can just track them on radar, too. So I hope everybody can stay safe today. And that we have another repeat like Saturday, even though there were tornadoes in the Texas Panhandle, there were no deaths. So I'm really crossing my fingers for this again. And um, I'm a little surprised to see this one by Tulsa now. This must be a tiny little rotation indicated on radar so let's see it doesn't say that they know it's on the ground tornado radar indicated there you go so it says it's radar indicated meaning a lot of these storms might not end up on the storm prediction center's report list of having been tornadoes a lot of times because of our radar systems now with the base velocity we can see rotation in the sky before it's even on the ground so if you want to understand more about that and how you can do that 
you can go to my YouTube channel and click on the Understanding Weather Apps video and I touch on to the base velocity and how you can understand how it works so that you know if there is a possible rotation that could turn into a tornado. Well, enjoy the weather, however you can do it. Be ready and stay prepared.